chemistry gives answers to many queries. It acts as a bridge between the theoretical concepts and the practical world. However, where does chemistry get all the answers from? How do the reactions change everything around us so drastically? Well, the answers are stored inside the small nuclei of atoms. Yes, the tiny nucleus inside every atom is like a treasure box. It holds the mystery of several reactions. Now the next question to pop in our mind is, how does the nucleus of a single atom define the reactions in which the atom is participating? That's right, it's the subatomic particles in the nucleus, the protons and the neutrons that are the influencing factors. Yes, the presence and the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of any atom define many important characters like the atomic number, atomic mass, isotopic forms and so on. Wait a second, do we know what these are? What do we mean by atomic number? How is it different from the atomic mass and what exactly are isotopes? Let's begin with the atomic number first. Atomic number is denoted by the letter Z. As the name suggests, atomic number means the number assigned to a particular atom. Now I want you to think, on what basis should an atom be assigned a number? Should it be on the basis of when the atom was discovered? Or on the basis of how much quantity of the element is present in nature? What factor can be applied for numbering the atoms or the elements in general? One promising way is by numbering based on the number of protons present inside the nucleus of the atom. Yes, it's because the atom of every element has fixed number of protons in its nucleus. And this number is unique to every element, right? What do we mean by this? For example, any atom of oxygen always has 8 protons in its nucleus. No other element has atoms with 8 protons in it. That means the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom is like the identity of that element. So can we number the atoms or elements based on the number of protons in the atomic nucleus? Yes, this is how atomic numbers are defined. Atomic number in simple words is the number of protons present in the nucleus of the atom. Why do we need an atomic number by the way? The atomic number helps in defining the characteristics of the element. And why so? Just think about it. We know that the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons in an atom. We also know that the number of electrons will determine the valency and thus the reactive capacity of an atom. So now can we connect the dots? Yes, the characteristics of elements will include a few properties. And these properties will be based on the reactivity of the atoms, right? We also know that the reactivity depends on the number of electrons present in the atom. And the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons. So this is why the characteristics of atoms are largely dependent on the atomic number. That is the reason the atomic number or simply the number of protons is important to us. Well, we know that atoms are the fundamental units of every matter. So can you guess what could the size of a single atom be? And do all the atoms of different elements have the same atomic size? Let's study the concept of atomic size in detail in the next video.